So in the previous video I showed you how we can use the sine rule to find either a missing side or a missing angle. In this video we're going to be looking at the cosine rule to do the same. Now the way that I know that I need to use the cosine rule rather than the sine rule is that at no point in this example do I have a complete pair of angle and opposite side. I don't know this angle, so I don't have this pair. I don't know this angle, so I don't know that pair. And I don't know this side, so I don't know that pair. And the sine rule needs you to have pairs. So if you don't, then the cosine rule is all you've got. Now the cosine rule is a squared is b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Okay, so that is the way that it is usually taught to make sure that you're looking for the side. If you're looking at the angle, then cos of A is equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared all over 2BC. And that is just through simple rearrangement of the formula. But you don't have to do it that way. You can just substitute into that formula then rearrange it. So we're looking for a missing side here. So that's my A, so this is my capital A, using exactly the same notation that we use for the sine rule. And we can call this B, so that can be little b, and that could be C, so that's little c. So A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos of A. Okay, so 13 squared plus 9 squared take away 2 times 13 times 9 times cos 70. I'm putting it straight in the calculator in one go, and that's 169.96. Square root both sides, and we get A is 13. 0.03715024, so 13.04 centimetres to two decimal places. Okay, so that is your measurement there. So that's how you can use the cosine rule to find the length of a missing side. So let's see what it's like when we're looking for a missing angle. So let's draw another triangle. Right. So let's say that this is angle A, B, and C. So that's side A, that's side B, and that's side C. So let's say that length A is uh, 25 centimeters. B can be um, 18 centimetres and C can be 10 centimetres. And let's say I want to find this angle here, angle A. So I can substitute the numbers straight into this one if I like or straight into this one. I'm going to substitute it into the second one. So cos A is B squared, so 25 squared plus c squared, sorry, 10 squared, take away a squared, so 18 squared, all over 2 times b times c. So let's see what that is. 25 squared plus 10 squared minus 18 squared, so that's 401 on the top, divided by 2 times 25 times 10, so that's 401 over 500, so 0 0.802. Then inverse cosine both sides. So inverse cosine of that is 36.6784. So it's 36.7 degrees to one decimal place. So 36.1, 36.7 degrees is that angle there to one decimal place. So that's how you can use the cosine rule to find a missing side or a missing angle. 